Hello and welcome to another Snap Circuits tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to use the speaker and integrated circuit to create your very own Morse code machine. Let's go ahead and get started. The components you need for this activity are a battery holder with two AA batteries, the green press switch, it's labeled S2, the red speaker, it's labeled SP, the red integrated alarm circuit, it's labeled part U2, three of these two snap wires, three of these three snap wires, and one five snap wire. It also helps to have your plastic snap circuits grid. Let's go ahead and get started. First, take your battery holder and attach it to the grid. Next, every circuit we make is going to have a switch, so we can turn it on and off. Let's attach our switch now to the positive side of the battery. Excellent. Now, we need to supply this positive side of the battery to a lot of components. So I'm going to run this five snap wire across the top here. This will give us the ability to create a lot of parallel circuits to then reconnect to the battery. Now what this lesson is all about is this piece here. This is our alarm integrated circuit. It's basically a really complicated circuit packed down into here. It's been simplified for us, it's really easy to use. So attach that to your grid one, two, three snaps away from this top rail. Excellent. Now we want to supply positive electricity to this integrated circuit. So I'll take one of these three snap wires and attach it there. So positive electricity flows out of the battery through these wires and into this circuit. Now every circuit needs to be complete so we actually need to run a wire from the bottom of the circuit back to the battery. Let's do that now. I'll use some of these three snap wires to connect the negative side of the battery and then I'll use this two snap wire to connect back to the integrated circuit. Now notice when I press the switch nothing happens. The circuit is complete, electricity is flowing through here but there's no sound. And the reason there's no sound is because there's no speaker. The speaker is what's going to take this electrical signal and turn it into sound. So let's go ahead and connect our speaker to our circuits. Now our speaker needs two things. It needs electricity, which we'll give it from the positive side of the battery, right there. And it also needs a signal. It needs to know what sounds to play. And the signal is being created by this integrated circuit here. Take a moment to create this circuit exactly as you see it. Once your circuit's complete, press the button. You should hear an alarm go off. Now, the reason this circuit is so cool is we can use it to communicate in Morse code. Let's say I wanted to send a secret message across the classroom, but I didn't want anyone to understand it. I could send the message cat, C-A-T. The long dashes, I'll hold down the note for a long time. The dots, I'll hold down for a short time. So let's spell the word cat. First I'll make the letter C, it's dash, dot, dash, dot. A, dot, dash, and T, it's a dash. So in total you have And that's how you use Morse code. 
Can you use your Morse code machine to help Vilbot communicate other secret codes? Can you use Morse code to spell your own name? Continue on in the lesson and find out.